A pulsar is a highly magnetized, rotating neutron star, that emits a beam of electromagnetic radiation. The first pulsar was observed on November 28, 1967, with the help of telescopes. The name pulsar is derived from pulsating star. The definition of pulsate is, produce a regular, reoccurring throbbing sound. The word originates from the Latin word, player, which means to beat. They chose this name because, scientists were able to record sounds of this star, using high-end technology of the 20th century. The most astounding fact is that this star was described 1400 years ago, in the Quran, in the 86th chapter of the Holy Quran. Allah describes a star named Tag. Allah calls this star, Tariq, and calls it the star of piercing brightness. Now if we look at the pictures of the pulsar, we can clearly see a piercing light through the star. But there is more, Allah also called the star Tariq, which in Arabic means, the beta, or striker. Tariq is derived from the Arabic verb Taraka, which means to strike or to beat. It also refers to someone who comes in the middle of the night, and knocks on the door. You heard how the pulsar sounded in the beginning of the video, which scientists were able to hear, using high-end technology of the 21st century. You can clearly hear the sound, which sounds like someone is striking or knocking on something. How could the Quran know this 14 centuries ago, when there was no high-end technology? There is no doubt left, the Quran is a book from God, and Muhammad was his messenger. He gave us this book, to use our intellect, and then come to the conclusion, that he, is our creator. He doesn't have to reveal himself, to make us believe in him. We were given superior brains and intellect above animals, so that we could use this intellect and come to the conclusion that he is, our creator. So which is it, of the favors of your Lord, that you deny? <laughs>